What's going on, everybody? Welcome to For Your Glory. Today I'll be doing another video of the Proverbs, chapter 25. Amen. If you like what you hear, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, For Your Glory. And leave a comment right there in the comment section. Amen. Without no further ado, Proverbs, chapter 25. Verse 1 reads, these are the Proverbs of Solomon, which the men of Hezekiah, king of Judah, copied out. Verse number two. It is the glory of God to count, conceal a thing, but the honor of kings is to search out matters. Amen. Verse number three. The heaven of hot for height and the earth for death. And the heart of kings is unsearchable. Verse number four. Take away the dross from the silver and there shall come forth a vessel for for the fire. Amen. Verse number five. Take away the wicked from before the king, and his throne shall be established in righteousness. Number six. Put not forth thyself in the presence of the king. And stand not in the place of great men. Verse number seven. For better is is for better it is that it be said unto thee, Come up thither, hither, come up hither, than that thou shouldest be put lower in the presence of the prince whom thine eyes have seen amen verse number eight go not forth hastily to strive lest thou knowest not what to do in the end thereof when thy neighbor hath put thee to shame Number nine, debate thy cause with thy neighbor himself and discover not a secret to another. Number 10, lest he that heareth it put thee to shame in thine infirm infamy, turn not away. Amen. Number 11, a word filth, fitly spoken is like apples of gold and pitchers of silver. Amen. Number 12, as a earring of gold and ornament of fine gold. Amen. So is a wise reprover upon an obedient ear. Verse number 13. As the cold of snow in the time of harvest, so is a faithful messenger to them that send him. For he refreshes the soul of his masters amen verse number 14 whoso boasteth himself of a false gift is like clouds and wind without rain 15 by long forbearing a is a prince persuaded and a soft tongue bringeth, breaketh the bone. Amen. 
verse number 16. Hast thou found many? Eat so much as... Wait a minute. Sorry, let me read that again. Verse number 16. Hast thou found honey? Eat thou much as is sufficient for thee, lest thou be filled therewith and vomited. Mm -hmm. Verse number 17. Withdraw thy foot from thy neighbor's house, lest he be weary of thee and so hate thee. Verse number 18. A man that beareth false witness against his neighbor is a manual, is a maw, and a sword and a sharp arrow. Amen. Number 19. Confidence in an unfaithful man in time of trouble is like a broken tooth and a foot out of joint. Ouch, that hurts. Number 20. As he that taketh away a garment in cold weather, amen, and a vin and, and as vinegar upon nitrate, so is he that singeth songs to a heavy heart. Amen. Verse number 21. If thine enemy be hungry, give him bread to eat. And if he be thirsty, give him water to drink. Amen. Praise God. Love your neighbor as yourself. Amen. You Got to love your enemies too. Amen. Just because he's an enemy to you doesn't mean he has to go hungry or thirsty. Amen. What would Jesus do? Amen. Praise God. 22. For thou shalt heap coals of fire upon his head, and the Lord shall reward thee. Amen. Number 23. The north wind driveth away wind, rain. Amen. The north wind driveth away rain. So doeth an angry countenance a backbiting tongue. Amen. Verse number 24. It is better to dwell in the corner of a rooftop than with a brawling woman in a wide house. Amen. Verse number 25. A cold as cold waters to a thirsty soul, so is good news from a far country. Feels good. Tastes good. I don't know. When I'm thirsty and I drink cold water, oh my God, it feels so delicious. Man, tastes so delicious. Mm, 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 mm. Number 26. A righteous man falleth down before the wicked. <clears throat> Amen. Let me read that one more time. A righteous man falleth down before the wicked is a troubled fountain. Before the wicked is as a troubled fountain. I'm sorry. And a corrupt spring. Amen. Verse number 27. It is not good to eat much honey. So for men to search their own glory is not glory. Amen. Verse number 28. He that hath no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. Amen. I just read you the book of Proverbs chapter 25 verses 1 through 28. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, the hearing, and most of all, the doing of his words. Amen. Praise God. And until next time, see you later.